All right, so today we are going to solve a circuit using kirchhoff Kurnet law or nodal analysis. Let's take a simple circuit with two voltage sources, 12 volt here, a resistor of 10 ohm, another resistor of 10 ohm, a 6 volt voltage source over here, and a 20 ohm resistor over here. So now, uh, the first step in solving any circuit is that we have to take a reference ground or datum node. So let's assume this node to be a ground node. So we can say that this node then has 12 plus 12 volt potential with respect to this volt, this one, uh, ground node, and this one has a plus 6 volt potential with respect to this node and the only node which whose potential we do not know over here is this node and let's uh, say that this node has a voltage of n volts now applying uh, uh, for applying KCL we need the direction of all the currents in this circuit uh, either flowing towards or away from the node so let's assume them to be flowing towards the node I am taking First of all, let's assume all the currents are flowing towards the node. Now, KCL says that sum of all the currents into or out of the node is equal to zero. So I have put it in this statement. Now we can see from the circuit that current, you know that current always flows from higher potential to lower potential. So since the current is flowing in this direction, which means 12 volt is greater than N, in this direction, so it means 0 is greater than n, and in this direction, which means plus 6 volt is greater than n. So, we will say that I1 is equal to higher potential, that is 12 volt, minus lower potential, that is n volt, for divided by the resistance that is present between them. Similarly, I2 is equal to 0 volt minus n volts, whole divided by the resistance between them, which is 20. And I3 is equal to 6 higher potential minus n lower potential divided by the resistance between them that is 10. So putting it here we will get 12 minus n over 10 plus minus n over 20 plus 6 minus n over 10 is equal to 0. Uh, taking the LCM and solving this equation we will get 36 minus 5n is equal to 0 and we will have a value of n which is equal to 36 by 5 which is 7.2 volts. So now we have found the voltage at this node. It was quite simple. So uh, we have solved the circuit for all the voltage. Now we need to find the currents that are present in each and every one of these uh, branches. So we will simply we have formula for all three and we have the only one unknown variable which was n. We have found it out. So we will write 12 minus 7.2 over 10 12, uh, minus 7.2 over 20 and this is equal to 6 minus 7.2 over 10. So its answer will be 0.48 ampere. This is equal to minus 0.36 ampere and this is equal to minus 0.12 ampere. Now you can see that this is greater than zero, that is this has a positive, this is negative, and this is negative. So we assume the direction of all the currents into the node, but some of the answers now have come negative. Therefore it means that this current, that is I2, and this current, that is I3, which have negative value, has actually the direction opposite to what we had initially assumed in our calculation. So the actual direction of I2 will not be this, instead it will be this, and for I3 it will not be this, instead it will be flowing in this direction. So uh, this, is, this, uh, this is a very basic circuit that uh, you could get in a circuit. As the, our course progresses, we will move towards even more difficult circuits. Uh, thank you for watching this video and please subscribe.